So uh, awesome that Cameron was able to uh, swing Thanks. by. And uh, by the way, we are uh, temporarily hijacking the, uh, the TechCrunch studio, so it's super yeah. awesome to be here. So Cameron, I wanted to ask you, uh, what about founder resources and what are some things that you would coach and advise since you work with so many at uh, SSE Labs? Um, so the biggest founder resources I see, especially in an early stage, is, well, first of all, finding a community of people that you can actually uh, kind of build off of. Um, so being around other founders, um, talking about your idea, maybe not too in-depth um, mm -hmm. as far as IP goes, but um, getting feedback from people who are doing the same thing that you're doing. Um, and if you have this community of friends that when you, you uh, kind of run into problems, mm -hmm. then uh, you can reach out to them. It's kind of what SSC Labs does with the community. It's like why Commoner does with their like, big network. Mm -hmm. um, second is mentors. So finding some, um, some expert mentors who have gone through this, who have sold companies, um, and who have some free time. Maybe they just recently sold their company. And they can um, you know, spend some time making sure you don't fall into the same pitfalls they do. Okay, and then what are some specific granular things that you guys do with mentor intros? So, uh, so for mentor intros, we, we kind of um, vet mentors who are re really willing to give, uh, give back just um, because they want to give back. Um, and so for um, mentor intros, we have like a mentorship mixer where all our teams meet our mentors. Mm -hmm. um, and then whenever they want to meet other mentors, um, the biggest thing is getting a reference from someone else. Okay. So getting that warm intro. Can you, let's say I'm a first time founder and I've never really reached out. What are some like mistakes that first time entrepreneurs make? Um, making a, uh, writing a really long email. And so when you first uh, reach out to someone, you kind of want to be like uh, subject line brief chat. Okay. Um, and just, just say, look, I'm uh, you know, a Stanford student. I'm interested in what you're doing. I'd love to have a brief like five minute conversation on the phone just to tell you about myself. Okay. Um, and just to so start off, start off slow. Okay, so one's too long of an email. What's another? Maybe a couple more tips. Um, let's see. So, as far as hmm. um, barriers, mistakes that first-time entrepreneurs make in reaching out. In reaching out to mentors, um, asking for too much. Okay. And so once again, it's uh, it's their time um, asking for you know a interview right off the bat. Okay. Um, I think um, another thing is um, not um, writing crappy emails. Okay. Um, and just poor, um, poor communication. Okay. What I mean by that is you gotta s check your spelling. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of like, especially in the student level, they kind of just throw stuff together. Okay. And they're actually sometimes are too informal. Okay. Um, How about one more? I'm gonna put you on the spot because I know sure, that sure, you've got okay, awesome you. stuff. Um, I'm just gonna put you on the spot for one more before we wrap. Sure, sure. Okay, so mistakes that uh, mistakes that founders make, make mis mistakes that first-time entrepreneurs make in reaching out to the mentor network. Right. That you so have you got an awesome uh, network of mentors. I mean, except for that one guy, Larry Chang. But I mean, everybody else looks awesome. I mean, who yeah. else? Like, how to reach so, out? So, uh, can I touch on kind of follow up from after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, Perfect. so I love that. Um, once you've already reached out, um, big mistake is not following up. And so once you already, uh, you've already you talked to the person, you need to follow up right away and okay. say thank you, and here are the points that I got away from this, and here's the next steps. Huge. Um, and then every like single that. time you meet with them, you need to follow up with them. Um, and then if you really want to get this person to be your mentor, you should update them every uh, you know couple weeks or periodically to let them know what you're up to. Awesome. Um, because if someone uh, does something kind of periodically, it's much easier for them to keep engaged than just sporadically. Awesome. And then you also brought your managing director from SSC Labs with you. You want to preview him? I did. Um, so uh, Dan Ha, um, he's a you know, good friend of mine. He's over there behind the, <laughs> behind the camera. He's my roommate for sophomore year. I didn't know that. So yeah, so I know him very well. Nice, nice, nice. So thanks for coming by. Thanks. Totally appreciate it. And uh, we're going to grab more things that are uh, founder focused, that are uh, all stuff under the arc of uh, what they don't teach you in school. So cool. appreciate you coming.